Hi, this is uh, TBWS, this is our first video. Uh, what I wanted to talk to you about today was the um, TIG torch, how it goes together and some of the consumables that you might need um, if you were first buying a, a TIG setup. <coughs> okay, so here's a WP17 TIG torch. Um, WP stands for uh, Worldcraft. Worldcraft were the first people to make this style of torch and you tend to find that most manufacturers now have followed down that route and uh, really the, the industry standard um, Worldcraft style spares and you can pick them up anywhere. Um, all the spares that I'll talk about today are available on our website www.tbws.co.uk and there'll be links at the bottom. Uh, but you can see here uh, indicates WP17. So this is the one we're talking about today. Um, there is also the WP18 and WP26, which will take the same spares as this torch. So if you've got a WP26, the same spares apply. Okay, um, so let's uh, take it apart and uh, have a bit of a look at, at the torch. Uh, this bit at the end here, this is the ceramic, and this is what focuses the shielding gas um, onto the weld. Okay, and you can see the, um, the tungsten um, just sticking out of the end there. So let's go ahead and take that off. It's worth saying that these are available in different sizes depending on the area um, that's been shielded by the gas. Um, and this, as you can see, there is a number six. So now we're taking the ceramic off. Um, you can see underneath is the collet body and the tungsten out of the end there. Okay, and we can just unscrew the collet body there, um, and underneath that you will see the collet and the tungsten which will easily just pop out of the torch. So the thing to say about the uh, collet body um, is it's specific to the size of the tungsten uh, that you use. So this is a 1.6mm tungsten, and you can see just about on there hopefully, um, but that is marked 1.6, it's a 1.6mm collet body for the tungsten. There's also some holes in there and that's where the shielding gas comes from. So it's important that this is in good condition so it doesn't restrict the flow of the, the, the shielding gas. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. So as you can see this is how it comes apart. So you can see there are the slits in the, uh, in the collet. Um, are what goes into the back of the collet body and again these collets are specific to the tungsten they're marked 1.6 I don't know if you can see that there um, and tungsten just slips right out of the, the collet there okay looking at the torch then um, on the front you've got an insulator which just um, slips on and pops off um, that's basically a heat shield um, to prevent any damage to the head of the torch here um, and they're, they're available as spares. On the back is a um, back cap. Uh, this is a long back cap but you can also get a short or a medium sized back cap. Just looking at the tungsten there you can see when it's in a normal kind of position the tungsten's vast majority is up in the um, in the back cap so if you were to have a short or a medium back cap you would need to cut that tungsten down um, to make sure you don't have a huge stick out at the front let's just unscrew the back cap and you'll see there um, that there's a, a rubber seal that's important that that's on there because that is what stops the shielding gas from coming out of the back of the torch. Um, so yeah, that is uh, the back caps. And then if we go ahead to um, put the, the torch back together, um, the tungsten slips into the back of the collet, like that. And as I said before, the slits of the collet go into the back of the collet body um, and we can just screw that back into the torch 
And we notice at this stage that the tungsten alert is still free to move about in the torch. So it's the back cap that squeezes that collet onto the collet body um, to clamp it in place. So if we screw that on, that tungsten now won't move. Okay, and the ceramic then simply screws um, back onto the onto the collet body. Um, whilst we've got it apart, though, I'll talk about um, a gas lens. And they can replace um, the collet body and use a gas lens instead. And what this does is rather than have the holes at the side like this, it would have gauze at the front and it would be a large, so I'm going to want to show you, but it would be a large diameter piece at the front um, with gauze and that, um, that helps the flow of the gas, the shielding gas. And you can get those in uh, two different sizes depending on what you're working on. Um, and excuse my rudimentary diagram, but this shows here the kind of flow you get with uh, standard ceramic, or sorry, standard um, collet body, and then very sort of basically, this is the kind of flow of shielding gas you get with a with a a uh, gas lens. It, it just makes a laminar flow. Um, and it can also save you some money on shielding gas because it uses a little bit less. So going on from that, you can see that this ceramic screws on to the collet body. So if you were to go ahead and purchase a uh, gas lens, you would also need a gas lens ceramic. Um, and these are bigger um, at the back of the, of the ceramic um, to screw onto the, the gas lens. I mean, that really concludes uh, what I wanted to talk about today. I hope it helps. I hope it's not too basic for, for everyone. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to give us um, an email on sales at tbws.co.uk. All the parts are available on there. Um, if you've got any questions, um, pop them in the comments below and I'll, um, I'll shoot you back. Okay, thanks very much for listening. Bye-bye.